Well, Bex, I really enjoyed Southern Gospel. I thought it was such a fun watch. I just want to jump in and ask you what drew you to this movie? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it's a an actor's dream to be able to have such a complex role that has such an arc in one film. Um, I think what drew me the most is on a personal level, um, it was right when COVID had started, like right in the, right a few months after COVID started. And, and uh, like when I read the script, like I was just like so moved by it and so touched and like so like saw how inspiring like the movie was going to be. So I, I wanted to be a part of something on a on a personal level that was going to help bring hope to people and help bring um shine a little bit of light in a pretty uh uncertain time. And then um from an artistic level, I mean I think this to this day this has been my definitely the most challenging role that I've had because I have to explore so many different um size of myself that I had never had never really dug into um and it, it required a lot of me you know emotionally physically um mentally yeah so that that and that's always like that that's what I prefer something that's going to challenge me yeah. Well, it's fantastic. And I love that it's based on a true story of Samuel Allen, right? What most intrigued you about this character in particular? Because he is such an interesting guy. Yeah, I think um, Samuel's so authentic in a sense. Like he is interesting. Like he's definitely like explored and rebelled a bit, but his heart is really, is so, is so pure, I believe. Um, so I, w I was really drawn to him because, um, you know, I feel like sometimes, like, even if you have a pure heart, like you, you're as a human in this life, like we all have lessons to learn and, and um, just like he always has a way of using those lessons to try and, and inspire people. So I, he, he, he was, he drew me in from the, from the right from the get-go yeah talk yeah. about the music in this movie um and kind of how these songs came to be yeah so i actually remember from my first audition um i had to i had to do the preacher man of rock and roll i remember that and i remember that being like i was obsessed with the song like i was like i want to put the song like i want to be listening to the song outside of this whether i got this or not so, I mean, I've always had this, like, this dream of, like, I've always wanted to, like, be, have a fantasy of being, like, a rock star in, like, 70s, that whole scene, uh, Sunset Boulevard scene. So I feel like I got to kind of, like, uh, I don't know, in, in a safe way, explore that, that option. And I think, like, it's so cool to see, like, where that character comes from, from there to to the end of the movie but the music is incredible i mean um i would definitely listen to these songs outside of the film i think that jeffrey and everyone else involved in an incredible job and uh yeah i mean there's really not there's not one song or really moment in the movie that drags for me and i'm i'm honestly pretty critical of the things that i'm that i'm a part of because uh I don't know like I just I like you it, when you're like a part of it like you can see all like if there's any like mistakes or whatnot and I, I I love the way it came together and the music is phenomenal. Now this movie is very spiritual and um, how was your own spiritual journey impacted while making this movie and really embodying this character who goes on a pretty crazy journey himself? Yeah it's really interesting um I actually got baptized during the movie Wow. Um, yeah, I got baptized like while we were filming it. Like my character was getting baptized and I just so happened to um have like came to the conclusion that I wanted to get to get baptized and it kind of co correlated. I was going through some personal um like challenges and I, I felt like I 
this movie really brought me closer to Jesus, brought me closer to God. So I was really, really excited to get baptized. And this, I mean, I think this has had such a lasting impact on my life. Like, um, I feel like I've always been a man of faith, but I also, I think it's got into such a, a deeper level of what I think my purpose is and how I can use like, um this industry and my uh, platform to continue to 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 spread the good word and i mean every day i wake up the first thing i do is listen um to like my favorite pastors like joel osteen steve furtick um just continuously uh just like open to a random bible verse and see how i can apply that in my day i'd say it definitely strengthened my faith and took it to such a such a bigger level no so i'm grateful for that yeah it, it really it's that it really impacted me personally well what i love so much about it is it's very it, it really highlights the difference between the jesus of the bible and true christianity um from some of the, the problems that we see in in churches right and some of the man-made rules and regulations we impose on people why was this such an important part of the film that difference between the true jesus and the problem with some of the people that misrepresent him yeah i think that sometimes and i've i've seen this with people that i've asked to like come to church with me out here and um in, in Los Angeles that a lot of times people have this misperception that um, that God and Jesus are not like the most forgiving people like they almost see that as like a, a parent that just like wants to punish them but like like Jesus died for our, our sins so like it's we we are forgiven it's and at the end of the day, like, I think this movie really opens the door to what, what a strong message that Samuel puts out is like, by authentically sharing his, um, his wrongs, whether that be like, uh, like drug use or, um, anything he's very vulnerable in sharing that like in his in his sermons to so that people can can still feel like they deserve the love of jesus without um needing to be perfect because we are all human um we are all sinners we are like trying our best um and he i think there's, there's such a strong message in this movie about that all are welcome Mm hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And it does. You're right. It tackles some really tough subjects like death, drug use, um, abuse, um, racism. Mm -hmm. How did you find that line of really keeping the inspirational heart of the story alive while also tackling these real issues that people face every single day? Yeah, I mean, if anything, that just made me um, just like amped me up. Um, in terms of knowing like the that what I was being a part of was something that's bigger than just oh another movie I'm doing or another TV show knowing that I'm like going to be talking about like real issues that I personally want to be um, want to be talking about and I think by doing that and then um, through my art is is very powerful um, yeah. and so I feel like in preparing for the film um, I. I got so um, lost in the character and the story that I didn't, I didn't really like see that I was tackling specific um, things. I more so was kind of just living truthfully moment to moment as the character and the character just had, just so had morals that, um, that are, are like, supporting like equal rights and supporting um yeah other other major major points yeah, yeah. are you going to do more of this type of film i'm so interested because you have such an interesting imdb uh page i'm like you've just done everything across the board 
Yeah, I mean, I would love to. Um, this is definitely my favorite project I've ever done. Um, so I would love to to continue to do projects that that have a strong um, positive message, and um, just you know leave my mark in this world as someone that's um, using like my artistry and my platform for good. So yeah, I I really really loved this film. Yeah, well, I did too. What encouragement would you offer to other young people who might be struggling with church hurt, um, like your character does in the movie, or some resentment towards religion? What encouragement would you give them? Yes, I, I, I would definitely start out by saying that um, unless you're having the conversation straight up with with Jesus Christ, like it's you're you are talking to to fellow humans that are are finding their way and have their faults. And if anyone pretends like they don't and that they're perfect, like they're most likely not really being honest with themselves. Um, and that being said, um, I do think that a lot of people have had, have ha definitely have like a, a connotation um, when it comes to to um, to church, to God, to Jesus, or to the point that like people some people don't even like to say those words or think it's not um, like socially a thing to be talking about. But at the end of the day, I would want, I would just want them to know that, um, that they are loved and that they are forgiven and, um, and that they matter and that Jesus loves them, God loves them. And when they're ready to seek them, they're, they're there. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. And Max, who are some of your musical influences? Um, I grew up really loving John Mayer. Mm -hmm. Um, I love, love, love John Mayer. Uh, I really love, um, Daniel Caesar, the artist. He's great. I love Coldplay. Um, who else? Uh, I feel like if you were to listen to like even like some of my playlists, like it goes all the way from, it's a bit all over the place. And like I, I also do love like some like hip hop rap, and I've actually found some some faith based rappers, which is really really awesome too. Um, yeah, I I I really I love the Beatles. Um, I I definitely love music that has a message behind it. Or if you have it on, if it evokes like a deep feeling, um, but I definitely do not like music that um, is like has like a negative impact. I think it's really important that that um, that people use their their art as like for good. And I think right now we're in a time where. Um, some people think it's really cool to have like all this like super dark and like edgy satanic kind of music and they think like that's like a cool thing and like it's not so I hope that um yeah I hope that more like light music is is stays prominent thank you so much for being a part of this kind of stuff it's it's awesome that makes you feel really good yeah and I hope that it has the same kind of impact on other people as well.